Hello everyone, this is Lawrence, my second video for today. Um, let me get my little opening tool here. Have it, because this is going to be a, uh, a, a, a vinyl opening album. Um, I'll show you what the album is. And we all know she cleaned up at the Grammys the other night, which is good. I was uh, rooting for this album, and I'm, I'm glad she won, and uh, won a number of other awards, too. Um, for, first, to just say a uh, few comments uh, about uh, the last week's Grammys, or last Sunday's Grammy. I don't w watch them because I can't really stomach the show. It's really not for... Uh, a show for uh, people in my age group, um, but that's all right. You know, I peek in and I monitor the results on the computer. Um, the Golden Hour. I had a gift certificate, a Barnes and Noble gift certificate. So uh, I was out Sunday. Uh, I had lunch with my two sisters and stopped at the Barnes and Nobles and picked up this album and this was hours before the broadcast of the Grammys because I haven't got this album, it's been on my must-buy list but 180 gram vinyl is expensive and so I only buy about eight a year and um, so I had the gift certificate and I stopped in there and they, they had uh, this album and I wanted to buy something current, something new instead of a reissue of an old favorite, which I'm you know trying to do. I like to support new artists and recognize the worthy new music. Uh, so you know I got the album, got home, monitored the Grammys and she uh, really cleaned up you know winning about I think, four Grammys, including the uh, the top prize album of the year. Um, I did find it a little strange um, she won for Best Country Album because while it may have a bit of a country sensitivity to it, um, it's really more of a popular, or I hate to use the word pop, but more of a, uh, a, a pop album. Um, Nothing wrong with pop, but I feel like of late, uh, pop music, there used to be some songwriting craft and some thoughts in the lyrics, but, you know, with the technology and it's easier to produce music on, you know, with the computer and the other uh, modern um, advances, uh, pop music has lost some of its, you know, soul. And... But this is pop with soul. It, it you know has the songwriting craft, the musicianship, and all that. So, in, in a sense, you know, pop in a good sense of the word. Um, but I felt like um, you know I'm glad she won for best country art you know album. But I felt like it wasn't really a country album. Another example um, of this was when Beck Morning Phase won for Best Album a few years back, which I agreed with. I was rooting for that. But he also won for Best Rock Album, which I thought was strange because Morning Phase is really not a rock album. Uh, Tom Petty was up for that category too with his Hypnotic Eye, which was his last studio album with the Heartbreakers, unfortunately. Um, so I thought it would have been great to uh, give Beck the, um, the award for Best Album, which happened, and then Tom Petty for Best Rock and Roll Album with Hep Hypnotic Eyes. Um, but um, Beck got, got the award for Best Rock Album, which um, I thought was a bad decision because uh, to me, a, you know, a rock and roll album has to have some crash, boom, bang to it. And Morning Phase... Uh, really did not. It's you know it's mellow, reflective uh, uh, vibe of music. But you know what's done is done. You know, perhaps Tom Petty will get a lifetime, you know, achievement type of award. Uh, I don't know if he ever won any Grammys. I have to look that up. 
but uh, a great artist gave us so much great music and uh, it's sad of his passing but anyway um, I really like this album a lot uh, while there's no skip over tracks um, some of my favorites of course uh, Slow Bird uh, Butterflies Lonely Weekend Oh What a World uh, Space Cowboy I really like a Velvet Elvis um, High Horse which is probably the most popish sound uh, Golden Hours I mean this album's really good I have a few you know what I just mentioned my, my standouts and it was re reasonably priced $21 because you go into Barnes and Nobles or independent record stores um, 180 gram vinyl is a very expensive proposition you know 25 and not 35 you know 49 you know the prices are very uneven and I just wish with this new you know generation of uh, 180 gram our new vinyl releases if they could make the prices a little bit more consistent and bring them down a little bit you know like twenty one dollars could handle that um, as to uh, make it more affordable for uh, more people um, if they could do that I think that would really help um, with with keeping vinyl as a uh, you know the revitalization but keeping it going okay I would buy it I have a nice selection 180 gram vinyl I just uh, purchased um, Paul McCartney's Archives Tug of War reissue The Cars Touch and Go um, Octong Baby by YouTube and the last Mud Crunch album um, our local FYE was going out of business and I was able to pick up all those titles for 50% off um, so let's having said everything every there let's open this up and I'm going to use my um, this is really meant to be put on my keychain it's in shape of a key uh, it's a little pocket knife so we'll pull the blade out and we'll cut along the edges here it has no uh, factory sticker the latest release from you know uh, Casey Musgraves and th this track and that track up uh, I will I don't rip the plastic off. I'm a completist, and I'll even save the plastic. Uh, this will go into a separate uh, um, 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 plastic sleeve for vinyl. So we, we got it open. A very beautiful album cover with the blue, and she's holding the 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 uh, Oriental um, you know fan, and you can see a portion of her face and her, some of her hair, hair comes out the wind catching it I guess um, so let's open up the gatefold uh, very nice kind of an overlap of her uh, image there and um, what we have on the other side Uh, kind of a liner note, uh, there were in the middle of making of this record and a total solar eclipse dark in Nashville. Anyway, I'm not going to read that. My 29th year, a golden hour in my young adult life, there were certain junctures that you can think your way through. Anyway, kind of a reflection type of things. Um, I have a kind of a title for her music if you're gonna call it country uh, I like to attach the word cosmic country because it has kind of a space age universal feel to it okay so you know we got the cover the backside uh, gatefold and then we'll pull out the uh, the album and oh I like this 
uh, download cards are pr pretty generic, but this one here actually has a, a, a cover of the um, album. And uh, some of them do, and I save those. And what I'm going to do if, if, for the non-generic ones, uh, frame them and put them in a um, um, frame, okay? So we have the um, inner jacket, you know, still the same blue, um, with all the credits. I don't see a lyric sheet. That's a little bit disappointing, but that's all right. Um, so you have uh, the the, um, the inner jacket with all the credits, all the musicians listed, where it was recording, who engineered, all the technical information. Uh, so that that's pretty cool. Um, oh, did not know that. Check this out. Of course, color vinyl is very popular. I I I mean if. A vinyl's color just doesn't excite me. Um, I, I don't go for a color vinyl, but if it's color, okay, that's cool. Check that out. So, I would play a snippet from you, but I'm afraid I would get tagged because it is new music and they're more restrict on that. And I don't want to make this video and then have it pulled down because of, an, you know, of infringement. So... Um, but just go to YouTube or do your streaming and listen to the album and buy it if you like it. We must support a uh, new artist. So I'm going to slide this back in the uh, sleeve here. Just a little bit disappointed that it doesn't contain lyrics, but it is what it is. So I'm going to enjoy listening to this today. What I do is before I listen to a new release on vinyl I purchase, I'll listen to the um, album on on streaming on Spotify, and then put the album on and get the difference in sound quality. It's always amazing. So um, I have my um, task cut out for me later today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe. I need subscribers. Um, um, also, I, I talk a lot about music and especially thrift store vinyl shopping and all of that. So um, I want to wish everyone a good day and thank you for watching. Uh, I have to cut the camera off. I'm a one-man operation here. Bye-bye.